So in some few minutes time we shall begin the procession for Palm Sunday. And as you know this is a yearly event, but as I've said somewhere already, and it is a yearly event but we have always had a taste of it. And we, we always taste uh, Palm Sunday when we come to Mass. Uh, you know, there's this beautiful thing about the Mass that whenever there's Mass, the priest comes in with the procession. How have you seen that? Uh, the priest and the Mass service and the letter, they come in. Okay, so already every Sunday we have a taste of Palm Sunday. And that is the Palm Sunday event. So every Mass, there's a Palm Sunday when the priest comes in in the procession to Mass. But today is the day itself. Uh, so today is the full Palm Sunday, well, let me see, uh, Palm Sunday in, in its fullest. So we want to demonstrate what Father has been doing every time he comes from Mass and then he comes into the church. And now we are doing outside. So we are going to move from here, processing into the house of God, the temple, the chapel, you know. And for us, Catholics especially, let us see this as a pilgrimage. You know, as we process, that is life. Life is a journey. It's a procession to God. So as we go and we singing, and we are singing and we are going, that is life. And life is full of singing, joy, happiness. And this procession to Jerusalem, this procession to your Jerusalem, takes time. For some, it's 50 years. For some, it's 80. For some, they need 100 years to reach their Jerusalem. I mean, some 20. You know, so you all have different times to walk from our birth to our death. So when you are born, your procession to Jerusalem has begun. At death, you reach your Calvary. It's important what to do between the birth and the death. Hello. Christ the King. Yes. Uh, so this is a picture. As you walk there, think of the spiritual work you are making already. How far have you come in this walk? It's very important. So that is what we see. But what we hear today is what's called that. Jesus told us that when you go, people ask the question, say this and bring it. And it is about trust. Some of us don't trust Jesus that, that much. If you should say, oh, you shall say that. But if I tell them and don't, they don't agree, what should I do? The disciple didn't say anything. He said, when you go, people ask you, say this. They didn't say, Jesus, what about if they also say this? No. Sometimes you and I, we are quick to say, Jesus, what about if they also know? Don't ask the apes. Jesus says, go. You find an, an ass there. Bring it. You go. You find it and you bring it. Amen. Amen. It's called trust. Take it like that. Don't ask questions. So what about if I don't get the man I want to marry this year? What about if I don't get the child next year? What about if the job doesn't go this way? What about if I don't pass the interview this way? No, no. But if put them aside. He says, you go. You go and God be there with you. Amen. So as we make this short procession of life to our own Jerusalem, it's my prayer that we shall reflect of it more deeply, especially as we walk from today, Palm Sunday, and to the seven Easter next week. May God help us, may He give us along the journey, so that our procession to our Jerusalem become our own salvation. Amen.